folks, we're gonna have some fun today. And in order to have this, we're gonna start off with cutting up the meat. Little room, cameraman, thank you, sir. So, start off very simplistically. I'm gonna start off by cutting the meat into some cubes. Every time we cube these, and place them over here in our strainer. So, see, we want to cube the meat. Cubes, like here. So, we will constantly repeat this. Here. We're going to constantly get this in a cut, cut, and cut, and then keep on cutting. Anytime the meat is uh, offset, take the opportunity to slice away. This is the perfect cut. I won't do any more to it. I'm going to use some cold water as I continue on to get the meat sliced up. In the strainer, I have some other steak I already cut. It's the same. Ready meat. If you're wondering what type of meat is the strains, is this? I went with some choice beef top round steak. This is about close to two pounds, but I only went with about a good pound over here to start. And that's the strain I want to show you on my eye over here. I cooked some bacon and I took a little, little left a little bit of the scrapings not too much and a little bit of that oil right there and you're gonna see why and as you see why cameraman please follow me stay on board I'm gonna bring you over here and I'm gonna take my time because I, I removed some, some of that got some of that bacon fat removed don't need all of it got a strainer here so nothing's touching now we're gonna start off very simple got me some garlic Now we've done the garlic. We're gonna have some pepper. Try to get it all in one place because I'm gonna mix this by hand. And we got some Cajun. You're feeling Cajun? There you go, Cajun. Really, when it's yours, you do as you please. We most definitely got some steak seasoning over here. One well, nice amount of that to throw it into there. Onion powder. You don't need a lot of this, only a taste. There's some salt. Follow oh, me, cameraman. That's how we got that going. And been very careful not to burn itself. We have my mitt very fast. Being careful to not burn itself. Spread the oil along the way. And we're gonna get straight into it, folks. And we have to really get that move. I need to get my other intention. Taking our time here. This is the electric stove, so I'm trying to heat to a little bit past seven. And while that's going, we bring over some sliced garlic, which I'm about to slice it down some more than what it already been sliced to get it down where I've been. Rinsing my blade off. Let's see there, my good cameraman. This is it. Slice the garlic down, mincing it up. I don't want that garlic to disappear, but I want you to get a nice burst of that flavor. Be careful. These blades are nice and sharp. 
gonna get my garlic tossed into here. So it's gonna add so much flavor. Yeah, I added garlic powder. So, I want to do it. Right Get a smoke on it. Soon enough, I'm gonna strain that liquid you see off there, cause I I might find a use for it, but directly right now, there's no purpose besides so slowing the cooking process down. So I'm gonna turn the heat up to eight. One thing I do need that I did not add, but I wanted to wait till we get started cooking. And even now, the heat is not as high as up as it could be. I might switch my eyes out and turn the back eye on. It's not holding no, sh no shows up. Add some black pepper to the mix. We're on a good low simmer. So what I would do in our chat, I'm gonna wait till more this meat is cooked down. Is I'm going to get ready and probably ch choose a different eye to put this on. The heat's concentrating and that's not bad, but I'm gonna be looking for a smoke on my meat. And I have a feeling that this one eye won't get the end of a situation I need. So I'm gonna keep to get that. Say is I do like the, the juice that's being created. That that stock can be used most definitely. Everybody just like this be set for now. I'm gonna probably transfer it as I stated before to the other eye. Plus the other eye is much bigger, but it spread the heat out much better. Plus I don't want this meat to overcook. I don't want the meat to so tightly seize. I want to keep a lot of that flavor that I'm basking for in there. I'm gonna switch over. That guy. Switching the front eye off. Turning the fan off. So we can just hear more of that rich sound cook. And I'm gonna get ready to add me a taste of onion. Keep in mind in a second, I will strain that you saw. So let's get some onion. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of this red onion. I'm gonna mince it down a bit. Just the taste. Mincing sound, folks, if you hear it at all, is myself chopping up some onion over here. Onion over. Get a bit warm over a little bit of this onion. Because we're always going to use some of this in our varnish. You know, I want to say this message to each of you, and uh, it dawns on my mind to say this, that it's the, in the year of 2023, if you're out here and you're uh, striving and doing your best to thrive in the, uh, these rough times, I want to say I commend you, and I want to say that your efforts do not in this life go unnoticed. You keep at it. Don't give up. To anybody who might be watching this video, I say again, do not give up. Listen. I think your prosperity is on the other side of your struggle. And that means just keep going. 
when you hear that negativity set your way, let that be understanding that you are being noticed in realms. And that means that if they end up seeing you, if they're throwing negativity at you, fight through that negativity. That positivity is on the other side of it. You deserve better if you're working for it. I want to take a moment and ask you off that subject is that, you know, this YouTube thing for me is uh, I really appreciate it. This is food therapy and I really enjoy it. So I ask that you take a moment. Start what you're doing. Hit the pause button. Subscribe. And then come back and finish playing. And tell your friends about me. But what I was saying before, folks, don't give up. Now, I'm about to strain a bunch of this, this chew sauce. Might be able to use it for something, might not. But now I'm about to look for some smoke on this steak meat. So, strain it down. Yes, it's time. Being very careful, like. And so, mm. Right there. Now I'm about to add some bacon fat by spoon ladle or however to this pan. Only a little taste for my frying purpose. Taking, spreading it around. Just turning my heat on a higher level. So the next step is what we're going for here, folks. We got that heat being turned up. Got that juice strained off. And there we go. Now we're into the real race. Now, if you can come here, camera guy, show them this. Now, this smells really good. Oh, yeah. That could be used for something. I'll figure it out. So while that's searing up and getting all good if I for you folks. There we go. Let's keep this process going. The heat's up now higher. And that's what he's going for. We want to get that smoke on the meat now. Looking good. Smelling good. Cut. I'm coming along how I was hoping for getting that smoke on it now. A little pan sear. It's almost done, so now we're about to get ready to start our assembly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, smoke I was just talking about. That's that pan smoke that we just hoped for. Beautiful. And now we're about to get into the real big dog assembly of these racks. Come here, cameraman. Oh, we 
We're gonna do some lettuce wraps. And we have our bed of lettuce. But I wanna show you how I'm going about this. We got some tortilla style chip. Don't let me forget, we got my good old shredded cheese. I got a real goodie for you. We got this Piet give change to Roger. First step first, taking the time. Got my wrap, I've cleaned my lettuce. This is my bed right here. Lay off in the bed. You take some of these chips. It's a way to lay the wind. For space purposes. These chips have a nice little light spice to them. Lay it right there. After I layer, I'm gonna get some of this shredded cheese up in there. Now, for the real lovey. Try this off so you can hear me better. Turn this other light off. So let's get right here. We're gonna grab my ladle. My light is fine with ladle. I'm going to ladle some of that steak. That fine, beautiful steak. Right? Got the steak. Oh, why not more? The next part. Because what fun would this be without it? We got some really nice bacon. Bacon. Got some of that beautiful onion. Just nice to bounce. Just nice onion. You gotta get your tomato in there, folks. It's more that shredded. Let's do this another way. Now we got the shredded. We're gonna get some of this PF in there. Let me get that shredded. Shredded cheese light. And let's go for our assembly. First things first, give me camera man. Give me some space for my arms. And then we're rolling here, here, and here. Wrap that tuck. I'm going for a tuck and roll, folks. Plus, I got two papers. Right there. Yeah, nice and careful as I wrap this sucker in. Grab the secondary paper right here. Back, in the back. Now, I'm about to give it a good slice and see how we're working. And yeah, be careful with my knives. Go, folks, and that's what we're looking with our steak wraps. Yo, folks, yo, if you like what you saw, comment, like, share, most definitely subscribe. Yo, to the to the next folks. Also, help out in my GoFundMe efforts for winemaking. If you like wine, you'll love what I do. To the next folks.